Let me clarify something for people. Just because they have evidence that uh, via blood work that Scarface is my grandpa does not mean that I know anything about any mafia, mob, or any of that. Just because they know Kenneth Ting and it's been confirmed is my legal uncle because he was married to my aunt, Annette uh, Faith uh, Falk Ting does not mean that I'm involved in the Chinese Mafia. I don't know anything about that stuff. Do you see me now? I've never been involved in any of that. And let me tell you, I'm a, I'm that, I'm a chaplain. I'm a missionary. And so for me to sit here and look at these people and try to accuse me of being the mob, there's something wrong with them. I've never even exhibited anything like that. In fact, we've always tried to do things to uh, promote Jesus and peace and to keep people from doing that type of behavior. Most of it's sin, what these guys in the mob do. And so I'm sitting here going myself because there's people that are saying maybe that's some of the reason they won't give me my daughter back is because of my, fa my uh, family affiliation to the mob. Well, I don't know anything about the mob. All I know is about is about I want Tiara because regardless of what they think I could be affiliated with, there's no evidence to justify that. So they had no cause to take my daughter. Using James O'Keefe from Project Veritas as an excuse because he is lying and there's evidence to verify that is not the answer either. They just need to give Tiara back. They never should have taken her in the first place. We had a bunch of jealous women who just got mad because they wanted me to lie, and I refused to. This is a pattern that's gone on with me all my life with these with these um, particular uh, group within the um, governmental system with DHS, the CPS workers. I'm not going to lie for them. I'm not going to fabricate a case so that they can have an extra notch on their um, their resume. Uh, that's not earned. And I'm certainly not going to um, allow them to continue to strip my family from each other wrongfully. I'm going to do everything I can until they return my daughter. And James needs some help. He's got the university, the prosecutor's office, and all these other friends and entities that are helping him to not do what he's supposed to. Lying about his age and being so deceitful, it makes other people wonder, what else are you doing? So he may not have done anything else. It's just that because he's behaved inappropriately with me at the age that we started at, it makes people think, what else have you done? So he may have not have done anything. I know I got people in my ear talking about, you know, if he's doing this and this is going on and blah, blah, blah with that. I don't listen to any of that. Give me the evidence. I know he lied about his age and he slept with me on his birthday when I was 12. So we've got some problems here with James O'Keefe that nobody's addressing rather than rather than um, deal with him and what he needs done. They want to play the blame game and blame me and my daughter. And that's just not okay. That's enabling. And that is something that needs to be stopped. But I'm going to tell people, I, I firmly hold on to the family motto. We don't like dirty cops. So anybody out there who's, who's, misreporting or purposely tried to cover stuff up in order to um, help Mr. O'Keefe, be prepared because I'm not afraid of you. I was taught very well by the San Diego Police Department how to deal with people like you. They saw my gift and they wanted to help promote it because they don't like dirty cops either. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the batch.